Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to take a look at the genetic origins of Southern Iranians. As you will see, the Iranians from the Fars province are largely genetically contiguous and only a minimal Arab, South Asian and Turkic ancestry. What's more is that in contrast to the popular belief that Southern Iranians from the Fars province are Arabs, the reality is that they are minimal Arab ancestry and this goes to show how isolation in the Fars province allowed the Persians to maintain their genetic character. Now there is minor admixture but the continuity amongst the Fars Iranians ranges from 70 to 85 percent which is quite interesting and remarkable. Thus, the Iranians from the Fars province are indeed the direct descendants of the ancient Persians. I emphasize this point considering that many deluded Iranian nationalists consider the Persians of the Fars province to be less Iranian than say Tehranis, Asfahanis or even Khorasanis. As mentioned, you'll see here that this is not the case. Now without further ado, I'd like to begin this analysis. Here is a map of the Achaemenid Empire and you can see that it's very vast and at the very southern tip of the central part of the empire was the Persis province. While the ancestors of the Persians migrated from Central Asia, this province came to be their adopted homeland. And this migration led to the synthesis of modern day Fars Iranians as their Persian ancestors that mixed with the native population. This settlement and admixture formed the nucleus of ancient Persian civilization. In terms of modern Iranian geography, the Persis province of the Achaemenid Empire equates to the Fars province in southern Iran. And you can see that the Fars province is highlighted in red in this map. It's also worth mentioning that the city of Shiraz is the capital of the Fars province. This city is one of the largest in Iran and is almost home to nearly 2 million people. As for the demographic makeup of the Fars province, you can see that it's mainly Persian, though nonetheless there are Qashqai, Lur, Arab, Kurd, and Kalaj minorities. There has been very little admixture between Persians and neighboring non-Iranic groups. In fact, I reckon that the majority of the mixing in this province happened between the Lurs and the Persians, though nonetheless even that has been limited. Now to begin with the genetic analysis, here are the source populations. As you can see, there is a Proto-Indo-Iranian Androno source, a Sagabi Iran Calcolithic source, an early Bronze Age Armenian Kuraraxi source from Calavan, a Greece Delphi Iron Age source, a late antique Arab source from Tal Karasa from the Umayyad period, a medieval Turkic Karakhanid Kazakhstan source, a South Asian source made up of Indus Valley migrants to southeastern Iran, and then you can see that the early modern Caucasian ancestry is best proxied by the Circassian source, and finally a sub Saharan Bantu source from southeastern Africa. All of these sources will be used to model modern day southern Iranians from the Fars province. Here are the results from the averages for southern Iranian population. So you can see that there is an Iranian Persian from Shiraz sample set made up of 8 samples. There is an Iranian Persian from Fars sample set made up of 7 samples. There is an Ahomi sample set made up of 1 sample. And finally there is an Iranian Persian south sample set made up of 5 samples. And these four sample sets are on average 58.5% Iran Sagabi Calcolithic, 18.6% Russia Andronovo, 8.2% Tal Karasa Umayyad, 5.1% Shakshya Sokta Bronze Age to 3.5% Kuraraxis from Armenia, 2.6% Kazakhstan Karakhanid, 2.0% Delphi Iron Age Hellenic, 0.9% Circassian and 0.7% Sub-Saharan African. Overall, these results prove that the southern Iranians from the Fars province are largely genetically contiguous. What's more is that two of their largest ancestral sources are the Sagabi Calcolithic Iranian source as well as the Russia Andronovan source. And another point that must be emphasized here is that these results also show that modern day southern Iranians have minimal foreign ancestry as you can see only minuscule Arab, South Asian, Caucasian, Turkic as well as Hellenic Circassian and Sub-Saharan African ancestry. Up next I will be taking a look at each of the individual samples that make up these four clusters. Now without further ado I'd like to get into the individual sample analysis. 
Here are the results for the Iranian Persians from FARS and you can see that they are on average 58.5% Sagabi Kalkalitic, 18.9% Russia and Renovo, 6.4% Caucasian from the Kuraraxis culture, 5.1% Chakri Sokhta Bronze Age 2 ancestry and this is the South Asian ancestry, 4.5% Iron Age Hellenic, 4.3% Arab. 1.6% Circassian, 0.4% Karakhanid, and 0.3% Sub-Saharan African. What's evident from these results is that on a genetic level, the majority of the samples we have in the Southern Iranian Persian sample set are mostly genetically contiguous with greater than 80% genetic continuity and only minimal foreign ancestry, which is quite interesting and remarkable. These results also prove that modern-day southern Iranian Persians from the Fars province have mixed very little with their neighbors, particularly the Arabs, but also the Turkic groups as well as the Lures. Nonetheless, it is much more difficult to differentiate Lure ancestry from Arab and Turkic ancestry, so there could be a bit more of that. Nonetheless, the majority of the ancestry of these modern Iranian Persians from Fars is Iranian. Thus, the Iranian Persians from Fars are indeed the true heirs of the ancient Persians. Moving on, here are the results for the Iranian Persians from Fars who are a bit more admixed. So you can see they're on average 55.2% Sagabi Calcolithic, 15.4% Andrano, 8.0% Talkarasa Arab, 5.4% Shakri Sokta Bronze Age 2, 4.9% Karakhanid. 4.4% Armenian Caucasus from Koraxis, 2.9% Circassian, 2.8% Iron Age Hellenic, and 1.0% Sub-Saharan African. Despite having more admixture, these samples also from the Fars province are still mostly genetically contagious, though I reckon that they have mixed more with neighboring populations such as Arabs as well as Turks, but nonetheless that ancestry is minimal. And it also seems to be the case that these southern Iranians have a bit more sub-Saharan African ancestry compared to the previous Persian from Fars data set I took a look at. Up next, we have the results for the single Akhumi or Laristani sample and you can see that it's on average 55.8% Sagabi Calcolithic, 20.6% Andrano, 11.2% Tal Karasa Umayyad, 5.6% Chakra Sokta Bronze Age 2, 3.4% Circassian, 2.4% Iron Age Hellenic and 1.0% Sub-Saharan African. Thus, with these results, you can see that the Laristanis or Akhumis have a largely Iranian profile, though their Arab ancestry is a bit more elevated compared to the other Fars Iranians featured in this analysis. Now, the last Iranian population from Fars that I will be taking a look at are the Shirazis, and what's interesting is they have a bit more foreign admixture compared to the other Persians analyzed here. Nonetheless, they're still mostly Iranian. I reckon that this is primarily due to the fact that because Shiraz is more cosmopolitan, there must be more admixture due to intermingling between different peoples from different ethnic communities. And here you can see the Nasirul Molk Mosque, and this is from the Qajar period, and it's one of Shiraz's most well-known landmarks. And what's interesting is, this is an example of early modern Iranian architecture mixed with Islamic artistic motifs. Here are the results for the Shirazis and you can see that they're on average 59.1% Sagabi Calcolithic, 15.2% Andrano, 7.4% Tal Karasa Umayyad, 4.8% Shakri Sokta Bronze Age 2, 4.3% Kazakhstan Karakhanid, 3.1% Circassian, 2.9% Koraraxis, 2.2% Iron Age Hellenic and 0.9% Sub-Saharan African. What's evident from these results is that despite the Shirazis having more foreign ancestry, they are nonetheless still primarily of Sagabi and Andrano in descent and their foreign ancestry is still fairly minimal. So I would say that overall these samples are around 75% genetically contiguous and they have more foreign ancestry compared to the other samples. Nonetheless, they are primarily of Iranian descent. To conclude, in this analysis, I took a look at the genetic origins of modern-day Iranians from the Fars province and proved that they have a great degree of genetic continuity despite being geographically more proximal to the Arabian Peninsula. And what this means is that the Iranians from the Fars province are the direct descendants of the ancient Persians and thus the true heirs of ancient Persian civilization. That is essentially it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.